All right, one last conceptual lecture before we get our hands dirty and actually create some table relationships. And I really just want to drive home this very important idea of relationships versus merging tables. Now, I know some of you out there are thinking like this guy. Can I just merge my queries or use familiar functions like lookup or related or index match to pull attributes into the fact table itself so that I have everything in one place? And the answer is yes, technically you can. You can create a table that looks like this, where you've got your original data, your metrics, your fact table fields on the left, just like the one we've been looking at with a date, a product ID, and a quantity field. And you could take those key columns and you could stitch in attributes from your calendar lookup table, attributes from your product table, and this could go on and on and on until you have hundreds of columns based on a handful of IDs or keys. And the thing is, this is a totally normal habit to be in. This was a habit that I had as a longtime Excel user, where it was this instinct to want to always blend and stitch things together and force my tables into one place. And there's a good reason for it. Before these tools came along, like Power Query and Power Pivot and DAX in Excel, there were very few user-friendly, intuitive tools that would allow you to do this type of data modeling work. So as a result, you were kind of forced to mash these different sources of data together into these Franken tables that contain all sorts of information because that was the only way you could analyze it. Like if you wanted to use a traditional pivot table, for instance, you had to point that pivot table to a single data source or a single table. And that often required using hundreds of thousands of lookup or index match functions to tie this information together with brute force. So bottom line, sure, you can do this. Mechanically, it's possible, but it's just really, really inefficient. Like we talked about in that normalization lecture, merging data like this creates a ton of redundant information. As a result, it utilizes way more memory and a lot more processing power than simply creating relationships between multiple small, thin tables. So next time you feel that instinct to mash everything together, to merge it, to stitch it manually, just say no.